Hey everyone, how you doing? It's Clara and anyone that knows me probably has picked up that I love the Dungeons and Dragons show Critical Role. Um, I'm a huge fan. They're on their second campaign and it's just, for me, it's a really fun uh, Dungeons and Dragons show. Uh, I really, really enjoy it. And I, you know, I, I'm a total fan. Uh, as you can probably tell by the two Critical Role uh, posters behind me, if you didn't know they're Critical Role posters. During lockdown, I've been doing a lot of solid jigsaws and puzzles. And wouldn't you know it, Critical Role released a couple of jigsaws. So they released one for their first campaign. Uh, this is Vox Machina, but they just released this one. They also released one uh, on their first campaign, The Mighty Nine. And actually, I didn't get it. I, even though I was really into jigsaws at the time, I did not review. I didn't. I didn't buy it because. I look at these blocks of colour and it was a similar image and I thought I'm not going to enjoy doing that puzzle. However this one I happen to be buying something else and I cracked and, and bought this one um, and actually I really enjoyed it so I'll explain what I thought of the jigsaw uh, uh, as we go along. Yeah so I mean looking at this so it's a beautiful picture, I think it's nice. It's not necessarily my colour palette. Uh, I, I, I don't know what that means. I don't know, I looked at it and I didn't necessarily, um, it didn't necessarily jump out at me in the same way that the posters behind me. Um, it's these having each figure is a different colour um, rather than multicoloured. And I, I sort of found that a little bit stark and weird and I wasn't sure what to make of it. But what I will say is that once I put this jigsaw together and I looked at it, the big image of it, I want to frame it. It's as simple as that. So I didn't think I was a big fan. The art's good, but I wasn't sure about the colour scheme, but actually it turns out I love it. Um, once I saw it, you know, the big finished version, I was just, I fell in love with the image. So I will be buying a frame and uh, framing this at some point. But another, and so I wasn't sure about the artwork. That was one of the things that made me not get the Mighty Nine one because um, it's a very similar sort of uh, scheme. And I regret that now. The other thing is that you've got these big blocks of colour. So you've got blocks of white and blocks of blue and blocks of yellow. And I wasn't sure. I, I thought it was going to be really, really frustrating to put together. I thought it was going to be a case of you have all these pieces. They're all the same shape and how and they're pretty much the same color there's nothing to differentiate them so you're literally you're doing this thing where you're trying one piece and just trying it in all different spaces i thought i was going to end up doing that now actually on this image and you can't really see it but i will put a, um, a picture of the finished issue but there are actually lines on it uh, and triangles and shapes and so actually there's a lot more going on there is stuff to differentiate the areas of color they're not as bad as i thought maybe they were um but the other thing that's really cool so this is produced by the op um which is part of usa opoly um but the the pieces they aren't all standard shapes they're all you've got these really weird shapes um like completely non-uniform so what that means is that it's not just about the colors you're also looking at the shape of the jigsaw piece um and trying to figure out how they fit together as well which makes it an awful lot easier because you know you're looking for two things so what i found despite the fact that i thought i was going to be going along with one piece going well this could go here it could go here it could go here actually i never did any of that while i was putting this puzzle together i found that it was pretty obvious this piece goes here this piece goes here this piece goes here you got the usual jigsaw thing of trying to find the piece and maybe it looks a little bit deceptive or whatever but i never found a piece that was like this could go here, this could go here, this could go here. On the whole, don't get me wrong, there was a few pieces. So what I'm saying is that it was actually a lot easier put, to put together than I expected from looking at this box. And so, like I say, when it was all put together, this image looked absolutely beautiful to the point I want to frame it. And the jigsaw wasn't a frustrating experience. In fact, I actually really enjoyed putting it together. 
maybe not as much as some of the escape puzzle games uh, where there's lots and lots of tiny details which is really interesting and exciting uh, but it was still fun to put together and honestly i'm really hoping that we end up with like a reprint of the mighty nine because if there is i will get it straight away um assuming i've got the money at the time because it wasn't too expensive this was 15 pound and the the escape puzzles that I reviewed, they're sort of nearly £20, I think. So actually it was, you know, reasonable price. Um, not everything that Critical Role sell, you know, they sell premium quality goods, but they're not always affordable um, for everyone. Like the posters that I got, I got them when I could afford them, but they weren't cheap posters. Yeah? Not saying that they're expensive and I don't feel ripped off, but they're premium. So this was a really good price. I was really impressed with this. Uh, and it was just it was just fun to put together. So, yeah, that is my little review of um, Critical Role uh, Fox Machina Jigsaw Puzzle. I don't know whether it's available in stores per se. Um, so it might be that it's a really hard one. I don't know. It could be a limited print. It could be really hard to get hold of. But I really wanted to talk about it. So I have. Um, it's weird that I've ended up doing more reviews of Jigsaw Puzzles than anything else, but. Um, once things calm down a little bit, it's been super hectic at work. Once things calm down, I want to start doing more reviews of puzzles. So I've got some um, uh, exit uh, 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 Cosmo adventure games to review and some unlock games to review and some more board game apps um, and also some um, sort of escape room puzzles on Steam. Uh, so there's a series by from Rusty Lake, a company called Rusty Lake, and there's the, uh, the Room series. So I want to start doing more reviews of those sort of puzzles. Um, I think there's lots of people sort of do reviews of board games. Um, and so, it, you know, it seems like sur superfluous for me to be reviewing board games. But I think maybe jigsaws and puzzles and stuff. I'm sure there's plenty of that as well. But... Uh, it seems like fun, Sam. Uh, so, yes, it might take a little bit before I've got a lot more sort of, of this nerdy content up online, but uh, do like, subscribe, and see. My channel has all sorts of different stuff. So, if you're new here, you know, there's science stuff and then there's social justice stuff. Um, but if you, you know, subscribe, you can have a look what's coming up and you can see, like, oh, you've got. This. So if you're just interested in the board gaming stuff, I do try and advertise it on Twitter. So yeah. Um, so with that, uh, yeah, this is great. I love it, and I'm, and I actually came into it apprehensive, and I bought it. I didn't buy the first one, um, and I think we probably know I've got a lot of crit roll merch. So yeah, I enjoyed it. Thank you uh, for watching, and until next time, bye.